The good news is the weather should be much better for day one of Sunfest anyway. Thousands of people expected to come to downtown West Palm Beach for live music, food and fun this upcoming weekend. But they got to get there somehow, right? Then now's Alana Quillen live this afternoon with some advice on how you can get there without your car. Alana? Yeah, good thing that uh, Sunfest is starting tomorrow. I'm actually having to wear my raincoat here at the grounds right now, but I want people to write this location down where I'm standing right now. I am standing at Olive and Fern Avenue, and this is where Uber has designated to be their official drop off and pick up spot. So if you are taking a ride share um, using one of your ride share apps, you'll definitely need to write this location down before you head out. But there are also a couple of other options that people can take to get to Sunfest as well. Captain Chris Schaffner with Towboat US is gearing up for a big weekend. By Sunday in the fireworks, we're doing 300 people a day. His business will be the only one this year to offer rides from your boat into Sunfest. It's because of the traffic and because of the parking situation with Sunfest and the, just the number of people, it's really tough. Schaffner took us out on the water to explain the process. Boaters are allowed to anchor anywhere out on the Intracoastal. They can anchor up close in here, but they have to be about 100 feet away from the docks. They just give us a call on the VHF where they flag us down as we're coming by. We stop, we pick them up on the boat, we bring them right back here, we drop them off right at the gate. For Towboat US members, it's free. Anyone else, just five bucks to Sunfest and back. It's a lot cheaper than parking. With alcohol bound to be in the mix, Schaffner says his crew will be looking out for everyone. BUI is just as, is just as risky as DUI or more so. Uh, we really want to make sure that uh, that nobody overindulges and then goes running their boat back up the intercoastal. Besides boat and Uber, the city is also encouraging people to bike to Sunfest. So the city has a bike valet program where you can drop off your bike right here on Clematis Street free of charge. The city hopes more people will consider these options to ease the burden on traffic and parking lots. Now, uh, all new coming up at five o'clock, I speak with the organizers of the only bike valet that'll be at Sunfest where you can stow your bike free of charge. Reporting live in downtown West Palm Beach, I'm Alana Quillen for the now South Florida.